Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant-Based Bride, back again with another video. And today I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for November with a super simple minimalist guitar theme. This is for all of you out there who requested that I do more minimalist themes. I do love them. I just get carried away sometimes, as evidenced by my November setup. To swing the needle in the other direction, here is a very simple, very quick setup. So you don't necessarily need watercolor paper, but I decided to grab my watercolor paper for this guitar because I was having a little bit of trouble getting it exactly the way I wanted, and I didn't want to waste any more pages in my husband's bullet journal to my failed attempts, and I thought, hey, I'll just try painting a couple on watercolor paper. If I get one I like, I'll cut it out and glue it in. So that's what I did. I sketched the really basic shape of the guitar on the page just so that I knew generally what size it should be and the dimensions since this was supposed to be a specific type of guitar. The specific guitar that inspired this painting is a 1946 Gibson LG2. We actually found this guitar in the corner of my grandparents' basement. And when we asked my grandparents about it, my grandfather replied with, oh, that old thing. Um, and we learned that my grandpa used to ride his bicycle to guitar lessons with his guitar dangling from the handlebars. And that he played in a Western group called the London Road Ramblers. Jason tuned it and passed it on to my grandpa who hasn't played since the 50s and he strummed a perfectly clean G major chord. We actually played my grandfather's guitar at our wedding and talked to my grandpa about how he could remember where each ding and scratch came from. It's a super sentimental guitar to us, which is why I was focused on trying to get a very specific shape. But if you're doing a guitar theme, you certainly don't have to draw a specific type of guitar or worry too much about the shape. You can get pretty abstract and loose with this, but because it was a specific guitar, I was trying to keep that in mind, which is why I sketched it out. Now, I preferred this second one I painted, so that's the one I'm gonna use, but I'm just going to put that aside to dry and start working on the rest of the setup. So grabbing my husband's bullet journal here and getting started, he picked out a lyric that he wanted me to use in his bullet journal this time around, and this is from a Beatles song you may know, written by George Harrison, the guitarist of the Beatles. So I'm starting just by using a flat brush to get a bit of an ombre effect with this orange color dissipating down, getting a little more transparent as I get towards the bottom here to use as a background for the quote. And unfortunately, no matter how many times you make a video, there will be times that you forget to check that your SD card hasn't run out of space. And this was one of those times my SD card was full and I didn't notice as I sketched the line art portion of this guitar. So. You'll just have to imagine how that went. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. As long as you have the sound hole at the front, as long as you have six strings and some sort of headstock, a spot for the strings to attach to under the sound hole, you're pretty much set. And there are so many different versions of line art guitars on the internet that you can use for reference or even just real pictures of guitars that you can sort of pick out the main ideas to represent so that you can create a drawing very simply. I'm also using my trusty stamp set to add November along the edge of the neck here by the guitar and also to stamp out the lyrics that my husband picked, which are, with every mistake we must surely be learning, still my guitar gently weeps. Such a good song. So very simple cover page and quote page, flipping to the next spread, which is going to be his monthly calendar. And as I've mentioned a couple times now, we've shifted back to a two page spread. So he has a little more space in each of those daily boxes to write out events, shows, projects, and such as things start to open up a little bit more and his schedule gets more busy. So I'm creating a really simple calendar here, just using a black fine liner and creating a small minimalist line art drawing in the bottom right hand corner just to tie that theme into the spread. I do want to share just a couple guitar facts. This video is pretty short, so there's not time for too many, but here's a couple for those of you who love the facts. 
The guitar is classified as a chordophone, meaning the sound is produced by a vibrating string stretched between two fixed points. A 3,300-year-old stone carving of a bard playing a stringed instrument is the oldest iconographic representation of a chordophone in the world. And clay plaques from Babylonia show people playing an instrument that has a strong resemblance to the guitar, indicating a possible Babylonian origin. The English word guitar was adopted from the Spanish guitarra, which comes from Andalusian Arabic and Latin, which in turn came from the ancient Greek. The ancient Greek word for guitar, kithara, appears in the Bible four times and is translated into English as harp. The lowest string on a modern guitar is tuned to E2, which is a minor 13th below middle C. The most common monomic used by guitarists to remember their guitar strings from low to high is Eddie 8 Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie. Definitely not morbid at all. This is another representation of a headstock and a neck of a guitar with just the hint of the body at the bottom there. And I'm using my stamp set again for the days of the week along the top of the calendar and for the header. Once everything was dry, I used my flat brush and that same orange paint to add just a hint of color here. I didn't want to go overboard, but I just wanted to give that impression that this is a wood guitar. You get a little bit of a feeling of the color without having to fill the whole thing in. The electric guitar was first patented in the 1930s and became most popular in its current form in the 1950s with the introduction of the solid body electric guitar. Jason's favorite electric guitar model, the Fender Telecaster, comes from that time period. Last fact for this video, Jason's favorite guitar players are Buddy Holly, Lindsey Buckingham of Fleetwood Mac, George Harrison of The Beatles, and jazz guitar virtuoso Lenny Bro. So those are our guitar facts for this video. I hope you enjoyed them. Leave a guitar emoji in the comments if you did. If there is a guitar emoji, if there's not, music notes or some other musical instrument will do. Once that was dry, flipping on to the last spread, which is going to be just the header for his notes pages. If you're new to watching my husband's bullet journal setups, he likes to just have a bunch of pages to use as his notes pages, which is basically a daily log, just tasks that come up, things to reference, numbers he needs to keep track of, all of that stuff. So for this one, since it's his notes pages, of course, I wanted to add a couple music notes around it. So that's what I did here. Just really simple sort of of loosely drawn notes. I wanted them to look a little messy and free-handed. And then using that same orange color, I used just one paint tube for this whole setup and just adding a little bit of color to each note, trying to keep it a little bit messy, a little outside of the lines. I think that really adds to this more abstract, loose line art quality that we're going for. And that is it for this super, super quick and simple setup. I hope this was minimalist enough for those of you who have been wanting that and enough of a contrast to my November setup. If you missed my setup in my own bullet journal for November, definitely check that out. I'll have it linked in the card and in the description box. It is a lot more intricate and it's got a bit of a storybook foxes in autumn vibe. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons for their support. Extra special thanks to our newest patrons, Adeline, Lisa, Hannah, Melissa, Melanie, Annie, Catherine, Gina Marie, Quinn, Emily, Morgan, and Katie. Welcome all of you to the squad. We are so excited to have you. If you want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye friends.